Ken in Michigan writes, Paul, I have a Clarissus minute or minute planar speaker. Must be minute. Um, I have been told that absorption behind the speakers is not a good thing, but diffusers are. So any type you would recommend, wood slats, etc. This is what I would recommend. And yes, if you have a planar speaker or any kind of dipolar speaker, you definitely don't want absorption behind it. In fact, I would hesitate to put absorption behind any loudspeaker system. I just think it's a bad idea if you're trying to get things to image properly. So if you have a chance to see my book, The, the Loudspeaker or The Stereo, you'll know that I am very big on pulling speakers out into the room. These are setup books if you haven't seen any of these. Um, they're on Amazon or on our website. I'm a big fan of pulling speakers out, giving them room to breathe. And then instead of any kind of absorption in the back, you want to go with diffusion. So diffusion is like these. These are, I, I forgot who makes these, but they are wooden uh, pieces with different l lengths in here, different depths. So when I speak into this, my voice becomes diffuse. The, the various frequencies, instead of bouncing off a flat wall and just coming back in some distorted version of my voice or the music, this takes it and because there are different um, depths on each of these, it diffuses the sound. It, it, it scatters it. And when you do that, your brain doesn't pick up on the reflections as a point to focus on, okay? It, it just gets confused, kind of like white noise. The sound doesn't go away, but your brain no longer is able to pinpoint where that sound is coming from, and so we get this beautiful sound stage in the back. So this is the kind of thing, if you're looking at it here, you can, you can buy this any number of places. Just look up wooden diffusers, and that's the kind of thing that I would put behind a system in every setup that I, that I have. So, hope that helps. All right. Thanks. Bye.